There's so much happening right now in real estate. I want to talk about it. First and foremost, everybody knows interest rates are going up. Everybody was expecting them to go up. Nobody really kind of see them go up. Somebody will be like, yeah, they will, but who knows when? And now they went up. It's 5% officially. I've seen pre-approvals with five and a half and I've seen some with 6.1, crazy. It's been just two and a half percent last year. You know, maybe not to, not the last year, but 2020 we've seen two and a half. We've seen three, three and a half, now it's five. So it's really affecting the market a little bit. A lot of people that would be uh, trying to buy a house, they would see that their, their payment, mortgage payment would be like $150, $200 more per month. And so for some people it's a big deal. Now you have to either bring more money down, which you might not have, or you might have to look at the house as cheaper, which is also like, I mean, my expectations were here and now I have to bring them down, I, I don't like it. So that's gonna affect the market a little bit. For some people that 150, 200 is no big deal. And the reason why we still see the market so hot and the market is just, is, it's not stopping it. Demand is strong. is because the inflation is at 8.5%. So interest rate is five and inflation is 8.5. So that's a still a good deal. And it seems like we are going to see six. We're going to see six point something pretty soon. And a lot of people are calling me and asking what's going to happen. A lot of people are saying that after New Year's market is going to drop. And you know, who knows? It, 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 you know, nobody knows what's going to happen with the market. But the thing is that if you're buying it for yourself to live in, um, it, you know, if the price drop and interest rate goes up, I mean, what's, what's the thing? You know, you st it's the same uh, monthly payment. It's, it's still the same thing. One payment went down, the other payment went up. So if, if you're buying for yourself, you just want to look at the payment um, and make sure that's okay for you. And don't forget about the other costs like utility bills, water bills, electric bill, and upkeep. Also kind of go like that. Not just 3000 a month is my payment. Probably 3500 a month if you calculate everything. So if you're okay with that, don't worry about what's going to happen in the market because that's guessing, that's timing, that's hard. That's, you know, that it, you're not going to be able to, to hit it, you know, correctly. So that's going to be hard. So it might, we might see that the prices will be slowly coming down if the interest rates go up uh, close to 6.5 or 7. It will soften the market. There will be more time for buyers to think about the house. There will be times where you can negotiate, uh, probably. But you know, it's, if the interest rates are at seven and, or six point something, and the prices you can negotiate, I mean, the payment still is going to be high. It's much higher than if you were to have just overpaid a little bit with a three percent interest rate. Everybody knows, understands that. Now, if you're talking about investment. Uh, there's a couple things that happened as well in the investment uh, world. There's options that you can buy investment with 15% down. It's, it's, you know, the 15% down gives you the ability to put less money down, but your interest rate is going to be much higher. You probably will be already at six point something. Plus, you will be paying PMI, private mortgage insurance. A lot of people would think, okay, now 15% down, using the same money as we were have to pay a down payment as a 25% down, let's say 30 grand or like 100 grand, whatever it is. You can now buy not only one, but now you can buy two because you use 15% here, 15% there. Like a little bit more, you have to bring a little bit more, but still. But those property probably will not cash flow because of the interest rate and your, uh, what's it called? And your PMI, private mortgage insurance. Properties will probably be breaking even, but now you have two loans that are paying down with your tenant, by your tenant. So, which is also a good, good idea, like if you get a, a million dollar mortgage and somebody pays it off, you got a million bucks and somebody else pays off for it. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of that idea, but that, you know, some people are using that as a, as a way to build wealth. Uh, the reason also, the other reason why prices will probably continue to grow up is because the rents are going up. So let's say, for example, uh, prices are starting to come down. Here's what's going to happen in the market. Prices are starting slowly to come down. Buyers now start to wait. They think they're gonna come down even more to get, and they're gonna buy then to buy at the better deal. So buyers are waiting. Sellers are starting to put more homes on the market because they are worried that the homes will be coming down even more in price. So now the picture is this. We have a lot of sellers 
and not enough buyers. A lot of buyers are waiting because they think that tomorrow is going to be cheaper. Tomorrow is going to be cheaper. So it, it shifts completely. Now, a lot of sellers, not enough buyers. A lot of real estate agents that are used to working only with buyers leave because it's tough. Everybody's waiting. I need to eat, you know, I need the deals to happen. And a lot of buyers are not buying and that's why, you know, I'm gonna go. That's what happened in 2008. A lot of agents left the industry and those that are, know what they're doing, professionals, they stayed and they even did more business because there was less of the agents to do, to do the to work. Uh, if the prices continue to go up, it attracts, it attracts new agents. A lot of agents are coming into the market. They think that it's easy. They see a lot of uh, a lot of deals happen. A lot of agents are posting their successes online, and they think it's super easy. But it, in reality, it's super tough because in order for you to help your buyer buy a house, you need to put like five offers. You gotta go over ask. You need to be extremely skilled and know how to talk to people, and you need to be extremely skilled in convincing listing agents. It's hard. It's skill. It takes time. And if you're if you're entering the market and you're like, whoa, you're waking up to this reality and it's hard, you're like, okay, I think I'll take it part time, I'll go somewhere else to make some money. And a lot of agents are finding this hard, even 2022 and 2021, to make anything, to make any money. But as of right now, demand is strong, interest rates don't affect the market, listings are, uh, there's not enough listings on the market. So far, we're in the same condition, just it's a little bit more expensive for buyers. And we'll see what happens next because a lot of buyers don't even know that interest rates went up. They have their pre-approval from two months ago. They're still shopping with the, with the agent. Some agents don't even know that interest rates went up. So it's, it's until they go to the lender again with a contract and the lender tells them, look, this is your payment now. This might start, you know, being a little different soon so far we're seeing strong pressure from demand from the buyers and not enough homes to, to buy so we're still moving upwards when prices go up activity is strong and inventory is lo dry low so we're probably going to be seeing a good still good summer spring summer and maybe somewhere at the end of this this year depending where the interest rates go it might be a little bit uh, different but uh, it's still, like I told you before, if the prices come down, interest rates go up, the payment might even go, even be higher. And you know, what, what, what's the, what does that do for the buyer? It's still tough, it's even harder. It's better to overpay and you know, know that the prices will continue to go with, in, with, a, little, um, with a lower interest rate than you know, have a price come down and interest rate go up. You're just paying the bank more. The bank is making money. So that's it, I guess, that's it.